the last video I made was talking about defining variables in, uh, in Java. Um, that's where you just define the variable inside of your program. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to do a user input um, program, basically, to show how to um, prompt the user uh, for an input, and then you can use that input to define your, your variables. So last time we, we were working with strings, ints, and doubles, um, and we would define our string, we would name the data type, and we give it a name, and we called it S1. Um, and you, that's equals, and then quotes, hello, right? So if we print that out, um, print S1, we get our hello, right? Now, what if we want to ask the, the user, um, we can actually use this here, um, we can say hello, what would you like me to repeat, right? Um, and you know, we'll, we'll print that out to the user. We can just copy and paste this into a system.printout, uh, system.out.print line um, if we want to, but you know, might as well just keep it like this. It makes no difference. So if we run this program, it'll you know output to the user. Hello, what would you like me to repeat? Now we're going to um, prompt the user for a string, some words that um, we want the computer to repeat back to the user down here in the interactions pane. So um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a scanner. We're going to scan uh, the input. Um, and use that scan to define our variable. So the way we want to do this is the first thing we have to do is we um, have to import the scanner package. So the way we do this, we do import above the public class um, that we named user input. We do import. And we're going to do Java dot util dot scanner. So this imports the scanner um, from the util package. Um, but another way we can do this is actually just put a little asterisk up there, and that imports all of the utilities um, in that package. And um, that includes scanner and several other things. But we can also keep it scanner for the purposes of this um, demonstration because we're only going to be using scanner. Okay? So now the way we instantiate a new scanner um, is we call it scanner. Um, scan, that's going to be our name, you can call this um, um, whatever you want, you can call it cat, I don't know why I thought of cat, but call it that, but I'm going to go ahead and call it scan, because that's going to be our scan, um, equals new scanner, like that, and then open parentheses, and it takes um, system.in, so it's going to be what the user inputs into this into the computer system. So that's how we have our scanner, um, and we named it scan, all right? So now we've asked the user, uh, hello, what would you like me to repeat? And now uh, we've instantiated our scanner, and what we want to do next is actually define a variable. Um, so we'll, we'll, it will be a string again. Um, we'll have string um, input, we'll call it the, the input. Um, equals uh, scan dot next line like that okay so that's going to um, to define our string variable input as whatever uh, the user inputs in the next line so this uh, will bring up our scan so I'm going to actually comment this out real quick so it doesn't what I do when I comment it out is it won't be in our code so if I compile just like this, we run it, and it'll just ask, hello, what would you like me to repeat? Um, even though we've instantiated our scanner, this actually puts the scanner into operation. So I'll compile again and run it, and you'll see a little dialog or a little box pop up here. And now you can input, what would you like me to repeat? Um, let's say the wind 
is very strong today. It's actually not very strong today, but, um, you know, why not? So now we've defined input as the wind is very strong today. So um, we can, uh, now, in what I have written here right now, input is has been defined, but we're not using it at all. So if I want to see that actually actually work, I can do another system.out.println. This one always takes so long to type. I'm a slow typer. Um, and we can system.out.println input, just like that. And that should, imp out, uh, that should output um, the inputs. Kind of a play on words there. Um, but I'm going to change the input now because I can repeat uh, anything I, I want. So considering it's not windy today, I'm a liar. So now that you can see there, I input I'm a liar and it printed out I'm a liar. So um, now, now you can also input um, numbers into there. Like, um, what would you like me to repeat? Say I put um, just some numbers, six, seven, I can put a space, commas, exclamation, whatever. Um, and it will output whatever I put in. Now, if I want to, let's say, system.out.println, what if I want to do, um, what if I want to put in a number and I want to see what that is divided by two? Um, and I have to define that, uh, that would be an int. Uh, or I could just, you know, print that out. Um, like this system input divided by two. Now, there we go. See, it, it gives us an error. Um, let's see, because we can't we can't divide a a, a string by two because a string is not an int. If we define the input as an int, um, next line we have to change that to next int. So it'll search for the next int. So now if I try and, and put words into there, um, dog, I used cat earlier, it'll give me an error. It'll say input mismatch exception. The, the data type does not match um, my, my input. So I'm going to run it, and I'm going to put an int in there. I'm going to put 10, and it should um, output 10 uh, because we're out outputting the input here. And then it'll output 5 just after 10 because we're doing input divided by 2. So see? We have 10 and 5.